In this screencast, we're going to look at the magnetic properties of D-block coordination compounds. For a first row D-block complex, the magnetic moment generally corresponds to that calculated from the spin-only formula, where n is the number of unpaired electrons. This means that you can use experimental magnetic moment data to work out the electronic configuration present in a complex. For example, hexaamine chromium 2 plus dichloride has a measured magnetic moment mu effective of 4.85 Bohr magnetons. We can use this information to determine whether the octahedral cation in this compound is a high spin complex or a low spin complex. The first step is to determine the oxidation state of the chromium in the complex and hence its valence electronic configuration. The complex cation has a 2 plus charge and the chromium centers coordinated to six neutral ammonia ligands. It's therefore a chromium 2 complex. A free chromium atom has the electronic configuration argon 3D5 4S1. So an atom of chromium 0 in a complex has an electronic configuration of argon 3D6 since the 4S electron moves into a 3D orbital. Removing two electrons for the charge gives a valence electronic configuration of 3D4 for the chromium centre. A high spin D4 complex has four unpaired electrons. Putting four into the spin only formula gives a value for the spin only magnetic moment of root 24 or 4.90 Bohr magnetons. A low spin D4 complex has got two unpaired electrons. We put 2 into the spin only formula, we get a value for the spin only magnetic moment of root 8 or 2.83 Bohr magnetons. The experimental value, 4.85 Bohr magnetons, is very close to the high spin value, telling us that this chromium complex is a high spin complex.